My name is Peter Polsirke. I'm a pathologist and also the head of the pathology department in Westfall Hospital. And right now, in addition, I'm also a project leader for implementation of digital pathology in our health region. In 2019, uh, we had implemented an, a new uh, LIS in our lab, and because of that, we thought maybe it's, it was time to to try to go digital. So, so we had to yeah, do a lot of work to get funding, and and we also got the mission to be a pilot hospital for uh, for digital pathology in our, our region. So that's after the pilot. Uh, was established and we went live. Then the uh, the region has concluded to implement the same solution in in in, in the whole region. This installation is going to cover eight hospitals, so uh, which is yeah um, more than half of, of the Norwegian population. Part of the challenge uh, of transitioning was, of course, uh, the. Uh, People have been working one way uh, for the past how many years? And so it was a transition in terms of people having to get used to not using the microscope and instead use, looking at pictures on the monitor. Uh, as soon as pe people uh, managed to see the pictures and uh, get a bit into how to navigate them, uh, the reception was uh, more positive than we uh, originally expected. And uh, today, uh, most don't really want to go back to the microscope in most cases. First and foremost, I was happy with and also a little bit surprised at how good the digital images are. And uh, I think there had been some concerns in the, uh, in the group that the images would be, the details in the images would be a little bit harder to interpret but I don't find that's the case. I think the quality of the images are very good and I think you can do diagnostic work uh, just as easily in the scanned images. But that would also be like a prerequisite to work digitally, I think. So the big advantage when doing diagnostic work is um, that the process is very quick to open the different cases and to open the different slides in each case. Since I've been working closely together with the um, uh, IT consultant who has background from radiology, we've uh, also stressed the importance of, of DICOM and DICOM protocol, uh, which uh, wasn't that uh, common, I think, uh, when we started to, to, to talk about it. And, uh, so we we have uh, yeah mentioned that for Leica several times, and then uh, I think you have listened to us and, and implemented what what we wanted, especially concerning DICOM protocol, and uh, which is I think it's a big advantage to uh, to have. When you have those uh, tumor board meetings and MDTs, how do the radiologists, which is which is traditional here in Norway, uh, leading the meeting? Where does the pathologist uh, have, uh, find his place? And the good thing is to see when you look, when we, when we are a part of the MDTs and also the pathologists, they report that clinicians, radiologists, surgeons, uh, they, are, they are now kind of, they have discovered pathology in ways they have never seen it before, like in a positive way. So that's also good to know that what we accomplish technically technically works in the everyday clinical uh, day. In my opinion, we choose the GT450 because it's really easy to use. It's a plug and play. It's, it's amazing. Of course, the quality of the images, we're really glad to have it.